once again, we have a lot going on in the kitchen this morning. Nathaniel is slicing up some of our bacon. homegrown bacon. I guess this is for breakfast, Nathaniel. Is that right? Yes. All right. So, we're getting ready to fry that up. No. No? What are we doing with it? Cooking it in the oven. Okay. Cooking in the oven. Yeah, it's a little less messy. <laughs> but everybody is really looking forward to having that. Nicholas is ladling our yogurt into jars to put in the refrigerator. Um, so we typically make about four gallons of yogurt at a time and boy we were out without yogurt for what most of the week in that? Yeah. But I finally got around to making it uh, Thursday and um, we really should have labeled it into jars yesterday. We got some of it done, but the rest of it we're finishing this morning. Do one what? Mommy. Nicholas, I'm sure you can let your younger sister have a turn, right? Yeah. Great. Now Anna Claire is getting her chance to ladle the yogurt into the jars. It's actually a very good job for a five-year-old. You find it? I found it. Yes. Charlie has been on a search in our utility room amongst all of our buckets. Or dehydrated potatoes. Yeah, dehydrated potatoes because we're out of regular potatoes. <laughs> and they want some potatoes with their bacon this morning. Our homegrown bacon. Unfortunately, not homegrown potatoes. We didn't have any luck with potatoes this year. Things get to be kind of crazy in this room. So Nathaniel just pulled the bacon out of the oven. Mom, I don't have anything. And now it's just my breakfast. Take a look at it. I'm hungry. Everybody is so hungry. That bacon over there is done. This one's going to get cooked a little bit more. All the kids have to go outside to Fresh homegrown bacon. Some fresh homegrown eggs back there too, but we're not eating those this morning. What is this, Mom? And some little bacon bits. Still cooking in the frying pan. Damien, outside. And there's the outside. potatoes. No, because I have football players. And we're getting ready to go to Nathaniel's football game. And we have a, it's generally like a three and a half hour drive, but it's going to turn out to be longer because we, um, the team was going to rent a van to take some of the players who didn't have rides and well the rental van was in a wreck so it's not available to be rented so guess who's taking the players that would be us which is going to be great uh, i'm not complaining it's actually getting my van cleaned out for me because we can't fit all those players in there with all the trash and toys and school books and all of that that we still have in the van so the little ones are working on getting the van finished this morning before breakfast. And if Dominic is riding his bike instead of cleaning out the van, guess who won't be having some breakfast until he has it done? But we have been cleaning last night. I know, but it still has to be done and we have we to leave soon. We have to fit all the football players stuff yep. in we, Well, no, we're not taking all their gear. Somebody else is, some, um, a truck is taking their gear. Thank goodness. Oh. Because who wants to ride in a van with eight football players which is what we're going to have, seven others and our own, and their gear. Ow. The kids themselves are going to stink enough as it is that we don't want to be smelling the gear too. And in a big van, I don't know if you've ever ridden in one, but the only windows that open are the two front windows, and, this back. and then this one, this side different. one on the door cracks open. Just cracks open. Two back ones. And these two back ones and crack one open. On the so none on the left. No, none on the left crack open. Yeah. 
Oh, you're right. I'm wrong. That one does crack open. So those are all the windows that crack open. And that's all they did was crack. So anyway, that's the project for the kids this morning. Dominic, get to work. And I am going to go find newest member to the farm. Rebecca gave birth to a calf. Rebecca the cow, I should say. Not Rebecca myself. Gave birth to a calf. Um, two days ago, I believe. And I haven't been out here to find it yet. I'm told it's a steer. Well, no, I'm sorry. It's not a steer. It's a bull calf who we plan on becoming a steer because our steer that we have we're going to be butchering soon for um, some for some beef in the freezer, which we haven't had in a long time. And then we'll be raising this steer for our next beef. But first, I'm going to make my way to the barn to find a little poker stick that we have to ward off any angry mamas or bulls or whatever may be the case. So let's see what I can find. Should be over here. And of course it's it might not be in its place. I can see all kinds of things in here, but my red poker stick is not one of them. So we will instead grab a step in post. That'll work. Okay, unfortunately, currently, we have a buzzard problem. Sorry if I'm not walking very steadily. We had the cows in some of this um, part of actually our yard last winter um, trying to get, or I guess it may have been into the spring. There was some nice green grass in here for them to eat, but we had had so much rain that them walking in here has really done a number on the yard. It's not very level and even, left lots of hoof prints. Okay, so we have a real buzzard problem right now. So you might see buzzards hanging around. I'm gonna have to, we tried some of the um, suggestions that the, oh, there they go. gross. But we tried some of the suggestions that the USDA had given us to get rid of them, like loud noises, you know, buying an air horn, stuff like that, and unfortunately it didn't touch them. So I'm going to have to get some USDA people out here to do something about this. The cows are all the way down there at the bottom of the of this area that we've given them. We're going to have to move them again tomorrow. i um, sure they need to be moved today, but not going to happen. I see them all looking at me. If I can get them to come up here. Hey guys, come on! Oh, he's a skinny little thing. I don't fatten up quickly enough on mama's milk. And that's Rebecca with the baby. Here he is. Hey, Bambi. Oh, yeah, Bambi's bag's getting big, too. She might be calving any day. He's so cute. Now we just have to name him. I believe I'm told Nicholas gets that honor this time. Bambi's my sweet calf. Oh, and Missy there next to her. Missy can be grumpy. Coming out to join us? Yep, coming to join you. See how it's going out here today. Who are you loving on there, Charlie? This is Missy. Oh, good. Missy needs some love. 
she's doing better. She's not as temperamental as she used to be. <laughs> All right, crew. We gotta head in and go get ready for the. Go get ready for the football game. We are on our way to Johnson City, Tennessee, um, for a football game that Nathaniel is playing in again. Um, fortunately, this is one of the farthest distances that we have to go to go to a football game. And, um, but it's, you know, a day long Saturday trip. And so we've got a vehicle full today. And you might be able to see some of them back there. Some of them are hiding out, some of them are sleeping. There's nothing on. Look at that. It is 75 up here. 75 right now is amazing. We are so tired of 90 plus temperatures. It's not funny. And unfortunately, we still have the more of the go, but 75 will be great for today. So we made it to the football game and dropped the kids off and then the girls and I went to get um, some treats and snacks at Kroger and now of course I realized we left something in the car so heading back part of life. So we had a good trip and no problems along the way couple of restroom stops found a decent parking spot grabbing a couple magazines drink and magazines gotta have something to do during halftime let's get back in and see how the game's going so it got hot at this game quickly um, I don't know what the temperature was but it wasn't 75 anymore and the poor players were really suffering from the heat. And needless to say, the hair went up quickly because just can't tolerate that. So now it's halftime and score is zero to zero. So that's actually not bad for us. Um, so had a couple injuries, but um, at least one of those players was able to shake it off. Not sure how the other one's doing. And um, now we're giving the guys a good break and waiting for halftime to be over.
it. I'm being called to work, so I guess I'm going to pack up and we'll get everything ready to go and get going home. It's going to be a long night, but hopefully a good trip. I always really enjoy seeing them pray at the end and appreciate that I'm part of a league where we can do that. So, Amelia. What? What are your thoughts about the game? It was good. What was what the was score? Three to zero. Three to zero. So was it a good, exciting game or a boring game or did you not pay much attention because you were doing water? It was pretty good of a game. I'm glad we made it to the playoffs. Yep, this put us in the playoffs. However, this means we've won a whole whopping two games, oh, both gosh, of them against yeah, Tennessee. Cool. So, here come the guys. We're going to have to hold our breath. So, anyway, we get to go to the playoffs and we'll um, see how that goes. I don't know. I don't think this is quite the re last regular season game yet. Actually, I think we still have several more to go, but I think we just solidified that we do get to go because we've won a whole whopping two games. We're two and four, I think.